Happy Trifmas, everybody! Damn right, Trifmas comes twice a year! Twice a month! Twice a week! Oh my god, who the hell cares? So, seeing as most of you have eyes, you can see that today's video is eight negate pendulums. Pen God, how on earth are you gonna put up eight negates? There's only five slots for monsters. Some are born smart. Some become smart. I am neither. But what I am is a genius. Perf English. So this genius over here is now going to show you guys how to put up eight negates. Yeah, maybe you need a pretty good hand to do it, but who gives a shit? It's eight negates. So enjoy this greatness. Enjoy even greater greatness than this great video by getting the greatest uh, playmat of all time. This great Triff Gaming Electromite. Play mat, where if you get it, you could play on it. So get it. And do stay tuned until the very end. We're gonna talk about the deck a little bit at the very end, just for a little bit. Just so you guys get an idea of the deck. This combo will blow your mind. Enjoy. Let's go straight into the video. So in order to do this combo, you don't need this exact hand. I just picked out this hand to make it simple. I put the cards I need to the side, just so you guys can see the combo is a little difficult to do. You want magicians in your hand without pen call. A drag, uh, one of your nine ways into Dark Worm or Pen Call Foolish might work as well. No, not Pen Call, sorry. Just one of your nine ways into Dark Worm and a way into Cerberus. And you need to make Electrum like your normal summon. So it seems like a lot of things, but it's really not. A lot of different variations in the deck of your opening hand does this. I'd say about 30% of your hands can do eight negates. I'll show you guys right now how to do it. The fifth card's anything. I'm going to now show you guys. You're going to have four blank cards that you're going to draw into as the combo goes on. And uh, one of the four, you're just going to see for yourselves right here. So, as we go, we go Foolish, we go Jackal. I put all the cards to the side to make this cleaner. It's a very difficult combo, especially for a lot of uh, noobs. Uh, I want you guys to pay close attention. Electrum said Harmonizing. If you had access to Jackal in the beginning, you send the Jackal instead of the Harmonizing. If you have access to the Harmonizing, which a lot of times you do, you simply keep the Harmonizing in hand and then like, send the Jackal instead. You always want in the extra deck to be a Jackal and a Gate Zero. That's what you want in the extra deck. And that's what we do there. We pop the gate zero that we got from Dark Worm, add the harmonizing, get another blank. Uh, Oath, Wisdom. I know that Oath can add back to harmonizing. Doesn't matter. Oath's going to add back to uh, the Wisdom. Oath can put back, our Wisdom can put back Bang in there. And then Oath's going to simply add back Wisdom Eye. And at this point, you make your Pendulum Summit. You have the two blanks, and you're going to draw two more blanks. Don't forget that you're going to have four blanks in total, and it is a little bit relevant about the blanks. Now, Harmonizing is going to bring a special Janky. Janky is very important here. And we're going to go into Absolute. And we're going to... It's really amazing, this combo. It really is. Uh, Absolute Electrum is going to go into Unicorn. And let's say you go into... The Normal Pendulum has three negates here. Normal Pendulum has got Boral Savage, Metaltron, Jackal, and a Vortex. Three negates. But I'm going to show you got eight negates with the normal way. And it's not overkill. Sometimes it's needed. Now... With the mermaid, you're going to check the blanks. You're going to discard anything that's on level 4. If you didn't have a level 4, it's all good. You're going to draw level 4 with the other two. You're going to have four blanks, like I said. And out of the four blanks, one of them, you want them to be a level 4. Or you want to open a magician earlier. Like, there's so many different variants to it. Here, one of the cards are curtain raiders, so we rolled with it. Uh, there's another variant to the combo that you don't need it. But again, you have your normal summon at the end, so don't forget that. Uh, there's another variant where you pendulum summon something else and keep the wisdom I make Karen Gorgon, but I'll explain how later. It's not that important. Anyways, we keep going into the Orcas combo. We save all the Orcas cards here. I don't want to waste time going into the deck. And we bring Skeleton out. We just keep going here. We keep going through our little combo. And, yeah, it's honestly absolutely incredible. Like, it blew my mind when I realized you could put up eight negates. Like, that's nuts. Eight negates is only five zones for, well, six zones for monsters. It's nuts, man. Like, your whole board's going to be clear, and you have cards in hand, and you're going to have an amazing follow-up as well. So it's not just the eight negates. You have amazing follow-ups as well. It's not just a glass cannon where it's like, after they clear it, you lose. You have amazing follow-ups even if they do clear it. If they have, like, three even leads or something, you still you still win. So do the whole combo there, orchestrate return. Like I said, I put all the cards to the side to make it quicker. Pay close attention. I made sure this was one time speed because uh, I just one duel showing it or one combo tutorial. So you guys could actually pay, like learn learn it. I did it a lot slow motion here. So you guys could learn what's going on. And I made it as clean as possible so for the noobs can understand and for the rookies to understand. We drew two more blanks here. doesn't matter what they are. But what do you know? We got some nice follow-ups. Four blanks in total. The fifth card you owe in your opening hand. Orchestra return, draw two. Electrum, draw one. That's four cards. Out of the four, you want one level four. 
And if not, you just need to open a magician earlier. Like like I said, it's a little... It, it, there's a lot of variance to it. It's not like a specific list. That's what I love about Pendulum. A lot of hands do it. It doesn't have to be a specific combo. Now, what we're going to do next is World 1. We're going to banish that to special level 4. But the, the Harp Horror from the Orcas combo. We're going to Normal Summon the Curtain Razor because we made Electrum without a Normal Summon. Typically, you just need to make Electrum without your Normal Summon. And you need two Magicians without Pen Call and you have this combo. It's that simple. Uh, we're going to go with Evil Storm Nightmare. Rusty's going to trigger now. Popping Black Fang, Special and Janky Magician. The only reason we play Black Fang is for Janky. Janky is a Lightning Gate. There is lights going around. The only deck that could possibly break a big board of yours is Thunder Danger with Janky Crushes. And what do you know? Look at that. Let's count a little bit. Triff Math Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Evil Storm Nightmare being seven, eight. Janky is a negate. I don't care what anyone says. There's more than enough light decks going around right now. And Nightmare is even better than a negate. Because you want some books. You don't need all negates. You, too many negates might not be so good. So enjoy your eight negates. And obliterate your opponent with. I've outdone myself this time. With Look at your follow up. Rusty giving you zones. Orca's engine recycling itself. Pendulum call for next turn. That's absolutely nuts. Like, honestly, I've actually outdone myself. Eight negates, and we forgot the Savage bringing back the Unicorn. 4,200 attack, eight negates. Best follow-ups in the game. Orca, Zones, Pen Call, come at me. I'm the greatest player to ever play this game. You're welcome. So I've showed you guys how to put up the best boards as eight negates. How to put up the normal boards, five, six negates, seven sometimes. How to put up the bad boards through multiple interruptions like hand traps. Four negates is fine. It's an auto win. Multiple cards in hand. How to play through hand traps. Every single one of them. What I have yet not shown you guys is how to play going second. Because going second, you don't care more so. You don't care for the negates. You care more so to hit 8,000 damage to them. That's the game plan going second. It's you look at their life points. You see 8, 0, 0, 0. And you try and take out the 8 and put them to 0. That's the new game plan going second. So you OTK them into oblivion and don't give them a second turn to think. So with that being said, my next video, I don't know if I'm going to do it right away, but eventually I'm going to do a video beating the typical meta board. So a Thunder Dragon, Danger board, a Salaman Bridge board, whatever it may be, a Striker board, whatever it may be, and how to play through other stuff like Sanctums, let me know in the description what you guys want to see next. Because I'm telling you right now, this is the best deck in the game. And if I was not banned, I would show you guys by winning every single event. Unfortunately, no one has the IQ to play this deck because it's a lot of thinking involved. You guys saw the very the, the play where I got, I think it was Ash or Valor or something, where I ended up with a uh, scale 0, a scale 3, a scale 4. And I still ended up on 5 interruptions. Or was it 4 or something? But... That's nuts. That's nuts. A normal pendulum deck would end on zero. Like, that's absolutely nuts. If that doesn't change your mind on this deck, I don't know what will. That's, I, it even blew my own mind that I ended up doing that. But the, just the utility that this deck has. The plays are endless. The toolbox of this deck is nuts. It gives you so much more plays that normal pendulums can't do. I'm telling you right now, any deck right now, if there's not an Orcus engine in it, it is not the best deck. When you splash Orcus into Pendulums, which is, Orcus is the, one of the best splashable engines in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Pendulums are the best deck that you could splash something into in history. So when you combine the two, you get an unreal combination of mastery and perfection. And that is really what I created. They actually don't brick. There are 14 cards to get rid of them in your hand. And if you draw them, you pendulum summon them. And you just play with them. There's it, Drawing them is good. They're not bad. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next. In terms of pendulums, that's insane. Happy Trifmas. Don't get used to this. I won't be posting this often every day. But enjoy Trifmas while it lasts. Open up your gifts. And buy a Triff Gaming Playmat. See you in tomorrow's video. Peace.